How's it going? Uh, today I'm going to show you the contents of my medical bag. I feel like it's very important to uh, contribute to your bug out team, you know, with something special that you, you have that nobody really, anybody else really has. So I figured being a medic would be the best uh, thing for me. But anyway, I'm going to show you the contents of my bag. Here I have my bag right here. It's got one pocket over here and then two pockets on the right side for different things. Also comes with a strap. It is indeed Molly compatible on the back here as you can see. I bought it for about $25 from an army support place. And the first contents of my bag, I have a emergency blanket with some smaller gauze for smaller abrasions and different cuts. I also have assorted bandages also. I also have some adhesive gauze pads to help mop up blood and other body fluids. Behind it also 5x9 uh, gauze pads. This bag right here I have assorted gauze right, right there. Some tongue depressors, some medical tape, some tweezers to get different things out of the cuts and or gunshot wounds. And on the other side I also have two pairs of sterile gloves and some uh, bigger bandages for uh, moderate sized cuts and some smaller ones here. This bag right here I have some sterile towelettes to help clean and and get rid of the dirt from the wounds and uh, get rid of the bacteria. Also have some some more smaller band-aids. And also on this side right here I also have some non-adherent uh, gauze pads for smaller wounds. I also have some sterile cotton balls, instant cold compress, some zip ties to hold on the chamois cloth because I figured chamois cloths are good for absorbing water so they should definitely be uh, good for absorbing blood so I'd cut it into different, uh, different sizes and whatnot to adhere to the uh, wound using the zip ties. I also have some cotton swabs here to help get rid of some dirt or whatever out of the out of the cut or gunshot. In a really dire situation where someone's really bleeding, it's not going to stop the bleeding completely, but quick clot is definitely going to help the blood uh, clot up and quit bleeding as much. So I'd use the gauze to uh, get rid of the rest of it and just stop it. It definitely has a decent shelf life, lasts about four years in the package, about $14 or so on Amazon. I have some isopurple alcohol right here, good for cleaning the wound and keeping the bacteria and stuff out of it. And as a backup, once I run out of that, I figured Listerine would be a, a, a good choice. Not only is it uh, good for clean, you know, cleaning, your, rinsing out your mouth and stuff like that, it's also an antiseptic, so it definitely kills bacteria. So you can uh, use it, you know, to clean cuts or whatever, or even abrasions. That right here, I could also use this. Right, this is a uh, roll of gauze in a sterile package, about five yards or so in it. Uh, that's good for, you know, basically bandaging people up. And then right here, I have some triple antibiotic. Some anti-itch cream. I also have another thing of triple antibiotic, best tracing. Right here, I have a snake bite kit. There is a smaller tourniquet down in here to help cut off the the flow of blood, you know, venom and stuff from spreading. I also have a scalpel right, right here in this in this uh, package. And then right here is some iodine to help uh, help that problem with the with the venom taking over the uh, bloodstream. Good for the Midwest. We definitely have a lot of pit vipers here, like the copperhead and the uh, water moxin, and we also have some rattlesnakes here in the southern part of the state. Here I have some scissors, some trauma scissors, help cut different things. A smaller pair of scissors. I have two ace bandages. Good to, to hold the bandages 
on the patient and that way I don't have to hold my hand on it and hold direct pressure. This is, you know, good so that way I can, you know, use my hands in, in uh, other instances where other people might need some help. This is just a temporary fix. Now I have assorted medical tape right here to hold on the bandages if I don't need to use the ace bandages and it's not that bad. Also have two bottles of ibuprofen, a triangular bandage, and right here I also have a couple things of hand warmers. I figured these would be good because they're small and they're lightweight, and they're, you know they'll keep a patient somewhat warm if you you know put them under the emergency blanket and you keep them flat. You can treat them for shock whenever they. You know, have a really, uh, you know, a hemorrhaging limb or, you know, a really big cut or a big, you know, wound or whatever. But over here I have some miscellaneous items that I kind of just threw in my medic bag just, just because. I have some insect repellent right here. Another couple things of uh, insect repellent. A couple glow sticks. Some dust masks to help filter the air when you're in a dusty con in your in dusty conditions I have a candle mini mag light to help check their pupils some water purification tablets I'll purify your water drinking water if you find a you know a stream or even a small uh, pool of water help purify it of course boiling is probably the better option and then right here I also have some flares which are good for starting a campfire. You know, if I need to get a patient warmed up really quickly because they're in shock. And uh, they're also good for signaling people if you need help. But that has been the contents of my medic bag. If you've got any suggestions, comments, uh, rate my video and subscribe to my channel. More to come. See you next time.